Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. This is a video about RAM memory failure or possible failure. How to test it. RAM is part of all computers. It's really what makes your computer work as fast as possible when you uh, use Windows or even a Mac and uh, it doesn't fail very often but it can and when it does it really 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 makes weird to uh, completely unusable computers. Uh, it can be simply a uh, higher than normal uh, computer error messages and uh, blue screen of deaths it can uh, make your computer run really weirdly. Uh, I've seen computers that didn't crash but that would really really run bizarrely on some software and uh, have features that just didn't work. You also have uh, computers that uh, sometimes boot okay, can run for hours without any problems and suddenly uh, the next day you boot it up and it starts having problems and uh, so it's you know memory problems can cause so many different symptoms that you really can't uh, pinpoint that it's RAM unless you really test it. So there's a tool called Mentest 86 Plus. It's free. It's a great great tool. This is the latest version that you see here. Um, last update of 27 September 2013 so uh, really really cool and um, basically this is an ISO file that you burn on a CD or a DVD and it's a bootable disk they also have a version um, if you go into the download section um, for the builds uh, they also have versions that uh, the auto installer for USB key so if you want to boot from a USB key it's uh, also included uh, there you can use that to burn it uh, once you download it you have a zip file that has an ISO inside and ISO is a uh, basically a image of disk uh, if you have Windows 7 Windows 8 uh, you can right click the ISO file that you downloaded and choose burn with Windows uh, burn with uh, the disk with Windows. There's already an ISO burner in Windows 7 and 8. Uh, if you have an older version of Windows, you might uh, need to use a uh, piece of software to burn ISO files. A free version uh, called CD Burner XP. Great, great burning f software and uh, totally free. So if uh, you don't have anything, just go and download CD Burner XP and you'll be able to burn your disk with that. Once you've uh, done that, well, what you have to do is enter the disk that you burned or the USB key if you made a USB key in your drive and simply uh, look, restart your computer. So we'll restart the computer or if it's not started, just start up your computer with the disk in the drive. What you need to do is boot up from the computer and so to boot from your computer's uh, disk, uh, you will probably need to do something. In my case, it's a Toshiba computer. To have boot options, it's F12 in my case. And this will give me the boot up options to choose the uh, CD DVD drive. Um, some computers boot up automatically, others don't. Once you boot up, here you are in the test of the computer. And you'll see uh, how much memory I've installed. In this case, it says uh, slot 0 and 1 half, uh, 2 gigabyte or 2048 megabyte DDR2800 in this case. Gives you the uh, serial number and the uh, company that made the memory. In my case, I have Inix and Sapsog. Now this is a long test. Uh, when I say long, it means that you have to, if you really want to have a good 
good feel on your computer and know if there's some RAM errors, you'll need to leave it running uh, hours and hours. Uh, I would suggest that you run this test before going to bed and when you wake up in the morning you look at the results. These results will uh, give you information about memory cells that are problematic and you'll see them easily because if there is problem with one memory cell you'll see that it will show you in red the uh, little memory address where it encountered an error and it will tell you which of the two um, if you have more than one um, RAM in a slot like here I have two RAM modules in uh, one in each slot then it was going to tell you which one is defective and now you have a possibility to just change it uh, this is one of the best tests you can do to uh, verify that RAM is okay. Uh, keep in mind that uh, although it does show RAM, I've, uh, I've actually run, it doesn't happen often, but I've, I've ran into computers that the problem wasn't even the RAM, it was the motherboard and the RAM was just going haywire. Um, if you recently installed new RAM, if you re recently had an upgrade done, maybe at a computer repair shop, and computer doesn't go very well, uh, check your RAM. Maybe the uh, the RAM that was installed has a problem. It can be also the fact that the RAM is not bad, but it has a um, basically a incompatibility either with your BIOS, your computer's motherboard, or maybe if they put a second uh, RAM or maybe you upgraded with a second uh, RAM card in uh, another slot sometimes two different companies like here I have uh, Inix and Samsung they work well together and never really had any problem on this computer but I've seen cases where you put uh, you have Inix and you put another type of memory and your uh, computer just doesn't work well and the RAM is good but it just isn't compatible with the other uh, RAM module that is already installed so these are all things to check for and um, this is probably the best program around to run and it, what is cool on this computer is that if you have an Intel Mac it's going to run also on your Intel Mac and tell you if a memory module might have a defective uh, module or have a problem of some sort so this is a brand new version so it should work with pretty much all brands and all new computers. In the past I've seen the old version uh, didn't work that well on new computers but now uh, it does seem to be uh, fixed with the version 5.01 uh, that was just updated a few days ago actually because it's September 27th. So uh, that's how to test your RAM. Hopefully. Um, if your computer's going haywire, uh, you're probably going to see what this uh, mem test program that uh, RAM is uh, bad, so you can change it. RAM is uh, relatively cheap today, especially if you have newer computers. DDR3 RAM is uh, really, really dirt cheap now. Uh, it's a little more expensive for DDR2, but it uh, shouldn't cost you too much. Uh, also. So if you enjoy our videos, please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, if you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature you'd like us to talk about, then uh, let us know also. And uh, if you have any problems, if you have any questions about something going wrong, uh, ask away and uh, if we can answer any questions, we'll try to. And of course, uh, it's not always possible because if you can't see the computer uh, sometimes it's a little difficult to really make a diagnostic of what's happening. And I uh, hope you enjoy our videos and come back to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye-bye.